In this media, we are going to learn about turbocharging, that is constant pressure and pulse pulse type. Okay, we have already covered what is turbocharging and supercharging and detail details. Okay, so here we will confine our discussion. So when we talk about constant pressure uh, system turbocharging, exhaust gas from all cylinder come into a common large manifold where pulse energy is largely dissipated. The gas flow will steady rather than intermittent and at a constant pressure at turbine inlet. Now when we talk about turbocharger arrangement in constant pressure system, no exhaust grouping, exhaust gases enter into large common manifold and then to turbine. Firing order not considered. Now advantages and disadvantages for constant pressure system. When we talk about advantages is good performance in high load that is efficient when B MIP is above 8 bar. More suitable for high output engine there is no need to group the cylinder exhaust into multiple of 3. Simple piping system, no exhaust grouping, high turbine efficiency due to steady flow of exhaust. The work transfer at the turbine wheel is smooth. Reduction in SFOC that is specific fuel oil consumption of 5 to 7 percent. When we talk about the disadvantages then it is like when running at reduced speed and starting up low available energy at turbine. Thus it supplies inadequately air quantity of scavenge pressure necessary for efficient scavenging and combustion. It, it requires scavenge assistance that is auxiliary blowers are there okay poor response in changing load now when we talk about pulse system of turbocharging then we have make full use of higher pressure and temperature of exhaust gas during the blowdown period while rapidly opening the exhaust valve exhaust gas leaves the cylinder at high velocity as pressure energy is converted into kinetic energy to create the pressure wave or pulse in the exhaust these pressure waves or pulse are led directly they are directly led to the turbocharger exhaust pipe so constructed in smaller diameter is quickly pressurized and boosted up to form pressure pulse or wave now pressure waves reach to the turbine nozzle and further expansion takes place okay so here basically what we are doing is that exhaust grouping is taking place now when we talk about turbocharger arrangement in pulse system that is interference exists between exhausting and scavenging among cylinders to prevent the cylinders are grouped relatively with connection to two or more exhaust pipes. Pipes are arranged in small diameter to boost up pressure pulse and in short straight length to prevent energy loss. Now number of exhaust branch depends upon firing order, number of cylinders and turbocharger design. Now when we talk about advantages and disadvantages of pulse system then it is at low load and low speed it is more efficient, still efficient when it is less than 8 bar BM. No need assistance of scavenge pump and blower at any load change. It is highly responsive to change engine condition giving good performance of all speed of engines, high available energy at turbine, good turbocharger acceleration. When we talk about disadvantages, the exhaust grouping is complicated. Different size of exhaust pipes are needed for space. There we had only same size. High pressure and exhaust from the cylinder would pass back into the another cylinder during the low pressure scavenging period thus adversely affecting the combustion efficiency. So there are chances that from one cylinder exhaust may go to the other cylinder. Now there is a question which was asked that is why pulse type turbocharger is used in auxiliary engine. As you know that pulse type turbocharger required high velocity pressure pulse wave to rotate the turbine which we have already discussed. In auxiliary engine, exhaust valve rapidly open, exhaust gas leave the cylinder at a high velocity. A small piping which hits the turbine blades and make it rotate. So pulse type turbocharger is suitable for auxiliary engines. Pulse type tur turbocharger are highly responsive to change in engine load condition. In auxiliary engine load variation is frequent. Why it is not used in main engine? Exhaust gas leaves the cylinder at low velocity, so constant pressure turbocharger are used in main engine. Big piping for grouping is not advisable. Most of the time main engine is running at high load. In high load condition, constant pressure type turbocharger are more efficient. It's a mainly design factor. There are four stroke with constant pressure too. Okay, view because constant pressure is in two stroke engine, pulse type is in four stroke engine, but you will also find that four stroke with constant pressure too it's a design consideration as well as all together so i hope it is clear for you thank you so much all the very best